Welcome to the Think Different Podcast. My name is Will. I am a former Apple creative, worked at Apple for over 11 years, and we had a request from someone which I thought was great. We have worked on a couple of budget templates already. We worked on how to create a budget just simply from scratch, and then going into detail how to use different sheets. Well, I wanted to do two of the templates that I found here on Numbers that I think would be great to use if you don't want to go through all the steps of creating a template. And they're honestly very easy. So there's going to be one that's like a little more more simple and there's one that's called personal budget if you look under personal finance you will see the section right here for stocks ex shared expenses school savings different things like that so you have a lot of different things we're gonna focus on the two here called simple budget and personal budget so I'm gonna open up this in simple budget so I'm gonna double click and then opens up this field. Now this is a very, very simplified field. And right now, uh, everything is in two, we have here we have three different tables, one, two, three, and it has a chart here. And the chart is a reference point to these items. If you click on the chart, you can see it's referencing these items and they're color coded, that way you understand who's what. So if I hit uh, edit data references, it just goes here and you can actually look at the different things. You can even delete the series if you don't want it. But again, we're trying to do this as we're not really going to change much. So I'm going to go in here and what we're going to do is we have the items here as paycheck and additional income. So I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to call it Will's Income. Then we have my amount, so we'll just pick a random number here. We'll stick at 4,000, I like that number. Uh, we'll do my video company, uh, and then I'll call that, like, let's say 2,000. And now that has been adjusted. If I go back, by the way, if you look down here where it says money left over, that is changing as I'm typing. So it's already gonna be filling this all out. So now it tells you what's left over. And then I'm gonna add a new uh, row below. So I'm gonna go to the arrow where it says number three because I need the total income to stay where it is. And then we'll go and we'll add a row below and we'll call it Tara income. And we'll say 2000. And as you can see, even when I added this below, look what it did, it still adjusted it. So even if you are adding additional rows, as you can see, it's subtracting the total income. It's already figuring that out. Say the money out, you know, a lot of this is pretty easy to start with, but let's add another uh, another row below, and I'll call this uh, streaming, since that's like a big one right now, and uh, you know, so we'll say 20 bucks, okay, and the adjustment again has been adjusted in here, okay, so you can see that. Now, the one thing you will not see is you will not see streaming show up in here because I added something new. This was not a reference point in here. So I have to go here, go to edit data references, and all I got to do is just highlight the one I need. As you can see, the icon looks like a little chart icon, and click, and that's it. So this one's like a light blue uh, compared to this one, so it's a very small amount. You can see it's actually right here, but I'll make it a bigger one just so you can kind of see it, 100. And there you go. So now you can see the differences, and you can see the money left over down here, which is taking these two totals and putting it together. So that's a simple budget one right there. This is extremely simple. All you gotta do is add a row and it'll just continue adding on the expenses and then it'll keep adjusting itself. The only thing you have to do is probably go in here and edit the data references if you care about the chart. That's, that's all it really is. So quite simple. Let's do another one. All right, I'm back here at personal finance. We're gonna go to personal budget. Okay, and this one's a little different. So this one is kind of the same idea. Now they actually show you a little bit more information and also they have a how to use here. So enter the budget for each category in your summary by category table below. Enter transactions on the transaction sheet and see how your actual spending compares to your budget. So think of this as mint.com, but you do it yourself. That's what this is really all about here. So if you look, we have two different sheets. You can add the date. So if I'm gonna, so right now we're gonna take a look at what we have here now. Uh, here's the budget. Here's the actual, and here's the difference. So you can see like what your budget is for that item, what you're actually spending, and then the difference. Okay. So uh, let's go here, and I'm gonna type in. Okay. So we're at 11. They're already given dates here, so uh, we can type in whatever we want. So I'll go 11, 24, 20. And then I just type in the description of what it is. So let's say we went out to dinner. So there's already a field called dinner out. As you can see, 
it's already here as an option so I don't have to bother going through that then we have categories so categories has already been set up right here with a pop-up here so we have done these ahead this has been done ahead of time just so you could see under the cell under pop-up menu that's where this is coming from this has been discussed in other videos we go into more in depth on how to use this so I'm not going to uh, go down this to get road again but we have talked about this in other menus before so I'm gonna go here and I'm just going to say it's food and then we spent hundred fifty dollars a nice size meal there okay so that's what this is now what has happened is this is now changed if you see food here the budget was 350 and now we spent 355 75 going back to this one we can see there are two food outs here so there's food here and there's a food here so there's two different ones and there's three actually so all that combined has now changed this and it shows that we are now over our budget so that's like the idea of this is that they've already filled this out and all you got to do is just add those items in so everything of course up here would change based on that so you can see the references of they're referring all the items in here again color coded just like it was in the symbol budget and same thing here you can hit data references and it breaks down the data references so this is just a real simple way of doing this uh, honestly it, it's i personally think this is a little too much i would rather have something like mint do this where the simple budget was a little bit easier where i thought it was like i don't have to do it transaction by transaction i could do it just by setting one budget so personally i think this is overkill but if you don't like giving your information out to mint like for advertising and things like that i get that there are other ones that are out there that are probably more private like that uh you know and you can work with it but honestly you know if you feel like you want to feel safe and then of course you could do this for each month so you can save each numbers document for each month so you can keep that broken down uh if you want to keep it on the same document you could do that i just think that would be a little bit harder to do the way this is template is laid out so i would do this month by month uh so that's a little breakdown of the quick budget options that are already in numbers so i hope you give this a shot uh, if you don't want to go through and do it all yourself manually and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we appreciate you guys uh looking at all of our content please check out all of our numbers videos we are the best numbers training video platform that is for sure take care guys and i love every single one of you